Who is Apple's electric vehicle partner? Apple and Volkswagen have partnered to deploy Apple's self-driving software on Volkswagen T6 transporter vehicles, which will function as staff shuttles. Rumors surfaced in August 2018 suggesting Apple would be considering a full-fledged Apple-branded car once more. Although there have been rumors since 2014 that Apple planned to produce a car, we still don't know if the company would ever produce a vehicle bearing the Apple mark due to its secretive culture. Teams have been formed and dissolved, patents have been submitted and then forgotten, and projects have begun, stopped, and restarted. Nine years later, all we know about the fictitious iCar project is conjecture and educated guesswork. The automobile sector has historically been viewed as a walled garden that is inaccessible from the outside. Very few new automakers have succeeded in breaking into the market. In fact, current automakers have collaborated and eaten each other out solidifying the notion of this unbreakable wall. However, things are moving quickly. In the last 10 years, more competitors have entered the auto industry than in the 100 years prior. It was widely believed 20 years ago that there would only be a few dozen car makers around the globe. Numerous businesses filed for bankruptcy during the 2008 financial crisis, and the pattern appeared to support this notion. Surprisingly, after the economy recovered, things were different. Yes, some brands vanished, but the great names made it through and solidified as predicted. Aside from that, though, fresh names also surfaced. China is a prime example, as its auto industry has created ridiculous imitations of the most sought-after cars in the West. But later, Elon Musk set out to reimagine the electric vehicle, and Tesla demonstrated that manufacturing automobiles is no longer the exclusive domain of well-known automakers. Since then, everything has exploded, and China's auto industry has thrived thanks to the introduction of innovative models by up-and-coming Chinese automakers that can rival the finest produced by Western automakers. Traditional businesses also found life to be very challenging when the EV era began. After Tesla demonstrated that the status quo could be effectively contested, everyone became interested in sharing the success. The number of new EV projects quickly skyrocketed, and nearly every business with some cash on hand, as well as startups with none at all, wanted to build their own vehicle. That's when the initial rumors started to circulate that Apple was working on a car. Without a doubt, Apple has more cash on hand than any of the well-known automakers. Apple was most likely the firm to effectively replicate Tesla's success in the auto industry. It has been demonstrated by the industry trend towards software-defined automobiles that consumers prefer computers to cars with computers. Yes, Apple is capable of producing the best computers available. All it had to do was find out how to mount wheels on them. The first tidbits of information on Apple's top secret Project Titan surfaced in 2014. Some reports state that Apple had already recruited over a thousand engineers and specialists to progress its automotive project. Based on the names of Apple's current products, such as the iPhone, iPad, iMac, iCloud, iTunes, and others, they dubbed it the iCar. As Apple has been eschewing this nomenclature in recent projects, I'll just name it the Apple Car, just like everyone else. Everyone assumed Apple would move its auto project along quickly, especially when the Cupertino Corporation brought in well-known experts from other automakers. Former Ford engineer Steve Sadesky, former Mercedes-Benz R&D for North America president and chief executive Johan Jungworth, and at least one transmission engineer were among those involved in Project Titan. For whatever reason, Apple was viewed as the firm that would displace Tesla, and for that reason, nobody liked Tesla. Since Tesla introduced the Roadster in 2008, insiders have discovered that Steve Jobs, the CEO and co-founder of Apple, has contemplated creating and manufacturing an automobile. Mickey Drexler, an Apple board member, provided the first formal indication that the company was developing a car in February 2015. Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, was the first one to recognize the enormous division the auto industry was about to experience. He discussed the increasing significance of software, the emergence of driverless cars, and the transition to electricity in October 2015. In a project known internally as Baja, Apple began equipping its first Lexus SUVs with sensors around the same time. The hiring frenzy at Apple has not gone unnoticed, and Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, acknowledged Project Titan in 2016. It's pretty hard to hide something if you hire over a thousand engineers to do it. 
Musk was quoted as saying in a BBC report. Musk, however, did not regard Apple as a rival. The Apple car would, if anything, further develop the industry. Rumors that Apple had abandoned Project Titan and was instead working on a customized infotainment system to offer to OEMs first arose in 2016. A lot of people thought the automobile project was too difficult. Even so, fresh information suggests that Apple has begun developing autonomous driving systems, proving everyone else wrong. In 2017, Apple received permission to test driverless cars in California, and Tim Cook acknowledged in a Bloomberg interview that the company was concentrating on driverless systems. Cook did not, however, vouch for working on a real car. After a year, Apple ranked third after Cruise and Waymo, with 70 autonomous cars registered with the California Department of Motor Vehicles. Rumors of several alliances surfaced at the same time, but none of them were successful. Apple made an effort to get other automakers to work together to develop driverless vehicles. Apple reached out to a number of automakers, including Hyundai, Kia, Mercedes-Benz, Nissan, BMW, and Volkswagen. But the negotiations fell through. Given that Apple had established its reputation for tech creation rather than production, it made sense for the company to search for a manufacturing partner. Even its flagship device, the iPhone, is produced by independent contractors. Since none of these alliances worked out, Apple reevaluated its choices and moved forward with plans to build its own vehicle. Either that, or it will just create an autonomous driving system that is software based. Tim Cook said that Apple loves to integrate hardware, software, and services. In response to a question in a 2021 interview, issuing a direct response. Although the Cupertino Corporation doesn't produce its own devices, this may be the case with existing Apple products. According to the most recent speculations, Apple is thinking of releasing its automobile project in 2026. It's unclear, though, if this refers to software for autonomous driving or a fully functional autonomous vehicle. If Apple wants to stand out and make a statement, it will need to impress everyone with its automobile initiative as the industry is already crowded and Tesla is enjoying the most of the benefits. Even though Apple was a latecomer to the market, it has a track record of creating products that fundamentally altered the sector. Windows-based phones were still being sold in small quantities and required a stylus to be pressed on the resistive screen when the first iPhone was introduced in 2007. Despite the fact that many executives of phone companies laughed at the original iPhone, things changed when the iPhone 3G was introduced in 2008. Apple is the market leader in the US and other countries, selling over 15% of all smartphones sold worldwide. People anticipate the Apple car will function similarly in the automobile industry because of this. Nevertheless, Tesla continues to lead the electric vehicle industry, and driverless cars are getting closer to becoming a reality. Apple is not included in this image. When Apple releases its first car model, everyone believes the company has something special planned that will make them all smack themselves in the face. But is all of this true? Is there anything about autos that still needs innovation? The most recent innovation was the software-defined car, which was first introduced by Tesla and is being imitated by all. This will be the next big thing if Tesla's full self-driving software works. But Apple doesn't seem to be able to compete right now, much less completely dominate the market. Some even believe that before people switch to more environmentally friendly forms of transportation, cars will only finish their journey. In fact, everyone in European towns knows full well that automobiles, regardless of their energy source, contaminate the environment with the particles they release while they drive, especially when they break. Additionally, they take up valuable space in city centers, which makes it harder for bikes and pedestrians to get around. Large towns are trying to ban cars, and even self-driving electric cars will have a hard time gaining traction. In North America, on the other hand, having a car is still required in order to get around. Because of this, autonomous cars are regarded as becoming extremely important in this area, particularly as the population ages and human drivers become more easily distracted. However, it is unclear if consumers would want a larger autonomous vehicle like the Cruise Origin or smaller vehicle like Tesla's forthcoming robo-taxi. And that's all for today. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also, express your valuable thoughts in the comment section below. Until then, bye. Also, spend some time watching the other videos on this channel.